Greetings, Patrick here, Half Cheetah Will View. And it's Tuesday. And if it's Tuesday, that could mean only one thing. That could mean it's library day. And it is. It's a library day. Um, so, uh, thought was going to be a lot more sluggish than what it was. Um, I had asked, uh, uh, I went down there and kicked it and, uh, got there a little early and, um, saw the people, saw the volunteers putting the books out and whatnot. And, uh, I asked if there were any movies and, uh, the lady, uh, said, no, not really. Um, so I'm starting to learn that if she says that there's something good going on, if there's something good, it's bad. And if she says there's nothing going on, we're going to have a good day. Because <laughs> that's really how it's been working out. Because uh, this this was a pretty good week. I was pretty happy with what we found. Um, we found a, 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 we even got a, a recent release of a, of a big Oscar winner. And uh, we got a couple of Blu-rays and uh, some superhero stuff. So let's dive into it. Uh, so the first thing I got, uh, got a Disney movie. Uh, the Bridge to Terabithia. Now, I have never seen a version of this. I've seen it's been released, like, I think it's been out, like, two, three times that I know of. But I have never seen it, nor have I, never have I read the book. But I do know it's very good. And uh, so uh, I'm looking forward to this uh, quite a bit. Uh, it's supposed to be quite good. Uh, next up, uh, oh, and the library did deliver this week. I should mention that. The library, there was a lot of discards this week. This has been, this was, this was one of the better weeks uh, so far here in 2024. Uh, next up, we got a Christmas movie called Christmas Freak. And this was released on Gravitas Ventures. I know nothing about it at all, but the, the cover looks absolutely uh, wacky. Uh, okay. And now I go back to the DVDs. Uh, we picked up a family film, that's right, called Bernie the Dolphin. Looks cute. Uh, Patrick McDoon from uh, Starship Troopers is in this, along with Kevin Sorbo. Yeah, I know. But, you know, what can you do? Uh, next up, I've got a compilation of DC Favorites. And uh, from uh, so this is a a compilation of Batman Beyond, and in it has a has a features encounters with uh, four villains that Terry McGinnis comes across. Um, first, when he first when he becomes the uh, first when he becomes Batman, and then he battles uh, uh, the hypnotic spellbinder and the death dealing cure. Uh, then he disappeared, then he battles Disappearing Ink, and then, uh, then Tech, he battles High Tech and, th and three other adventures. So what's really cool about it is, it's right here, tells you the subject, and then, uh, the compilation episodes. So this is almost, this is over, uh, ooh, it's over four hours. So, uh, and I have never, I haven't, I have never come across... Just a dedicated season of Batman Beyond. Still have not done that. Uh, so, actually, I, I wish I had. I thought I would by now. But but I'll take it when I get it. So. Next up, I got a classic. Uh, I found a classic uh, uh, film from 1936. From MGM. This is Dodsworth. Yeah, I love these old movies like this. This is a rare treat to find these th these uh, uh, these days. So we get a chance to do so, do so. Um, Warner Brother Archive does a lot of these re-releases. Re um, didn't know the MGM was doing that, but so I think this has been this is actually rather old. Let's see. I'm gonna see what. Yeah. So this was actually released in 2001 on MGM. Yeah, like I said, I don't, I don't, you don't see those kind of releases anymore from MGM. Those days are gone. Uh, let's see, next I got an upgrade. I have this movie already, but my copy I got from Family Video, and it was sort of beat up. So, um, 
So I picked this one up uh, for a quarter, and it even has a slip cover on it. How about that? So I'm upgraded. I upgraded the existing copy that I have. This is a sensational movie, by the way. This is a very creepy movie. Very, very well done with uh, Gina Rollins, uh, Peter Sarsgaard, uh, and John Hurt, along with Kate Hudson. Good movie. All right, going back to some animation here. Uh, we got this uh, movie from uh, from DC, Aquaman, uh, King of Atlantis. And this looks to be more of like the current Teen Titans uh, series. Uh, it means it's, it's a little bit more exaggerated, more a little bit more kid-oriented. You can tell by the animation back here. I'm sure it's, it's sure I'm sure it's a lot more funnier. Um, it's not anything like the DC uh, DCAU. Um, so I I never heard it. I haven't heard of this one yet. So I'm glad to get it though. All right. Uh, and I picked up Oppenheimer. Yeah, Oppenheimer. So, uh, so I did get this finally at last. I I had a feeling I was gonna get this and Barbie, um, because I thought the bookstore, or the library would overbuy this because of the public demand, and probably is what happened. Um, instead of buying the usual two or three copies, they probably went six or seven on this. So I do expect to find this on um, Blu-ray before too much longer. I'm sure it'll drop. It'll drop at the library. And I'll pick that up. But until then, I just picked up the DVD copy. So, and uh, what's really cool about the about this too, uh, and I'm, is that they actually left both the movie and the special features inside. Most of the time, they always just leave the movie, and they don't. They you know, they take out the this uh, the special features. But I was pleasantly surprised to see they did not do that this time. So. Oppenheimer, and then the centerpiece, the centerpiece uh, for this haul, and the one I was most excited to get, and no, it was not Oppenheimer, though it was nice, but the, what I got the, uh, for this, this haul, and I was very excited about, is a movie that I, that I know of the author very well, and I have read many, many of her books, and that is, I got a copy of The Mist of Avalon by Marion Zimmer Bradley, and now I've read probably... I probably have read almost all the entire Avalon series uh, by Marion Zimmer Bradley. I was a big fan of it when I when I read it. Still am a fan of it. Um, I forgot that they had made a, a mini series out of this. Uh, I believe it ran for three year, three three nights, and I think it came on on TBS, TBS or TNT. It did not come on network TV. It came on TBS or TNT. One of the two here on it. Um, but this one stars, uh, Angelica Houston, uh, Juliana Margulies, and, uh, uh, Joan Allen. Whatever happened to Joan Allen? She just disappeared. Uh, this came out in 1991. I believe 1991, but I don't know. No, 2001. 2001, I was going to say. I think Juliana Margulies was still in her ER run at the time. And so, uh, yeah, I do, this got a lot of, uh, uh this got a lot of uh, press and, uh, the books are excellent. So I have high hopes for this and it is a snapper case. So not only did I get that, but I got it as a snapper case. All right. Well, that is it for this, uh, this week. Um, like I said, I, I went in expecting nothing cause they said there would be nothing and it turned out to be a pretty good week. Uh, pretty happy with what I found. Uh, like I said, uh, hopefully it'll be, um, it'll be Oppenheimer will be dropping on Blu-ray here in a minute. And uh, I'll be able to pick that up then. Uh, all right, that's it. Uh, if you're watching this, um, we'll come by later tonight at uh, 8 o'clock. We'll be talking with actress Samantha Hupp, a.k.a. Sammy Morningstar, at 8 o'clock on 8 Questions With. Uh, and then we will be talking to Chris Ivan on Thursday, uh, on the 9th. And then, uh, we do a watch party on the 10th, uh, of May with our good friends, uh, Michael, James Bernard, Dylan Yeager, 
Um, you should have killed me and will be joined by special co-host in the house, a.k.a. Uh, Don, um, the, the Night Owl Movie Talk, and Larry, the Horror Cat Dad. And that will be at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. All right, thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Let, let me know what to the let me know the haul that I got. If I did good, did I do bad? Uh, what what would you watch first? All right, we'll talk to you soon. Peace. Peace.